Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the latest One Piece chapter, Fragments of Continents. So the chapter starts right where the last one ended, with Vegapunk's message spreading all over the world. In Wano, we see Momonosuke and Kinemon listening to it with Orochi's Denden Mushi. And guess what? Momonosuke recognizes the name Joy Boy, and he even compares him to our very own Luffy. Anyway, Vegapunk goes on to talk about the Void Century and how it was a massive battle fought against the current world government. And then we cut to the laboratory, where Mars is walking through a corridor using Conqueror's hockey like a total badass. And as he passes by, all the Denden Mushi fall unconscious. So these are some of the key points from the chapter that you don't want to miss. I know we're all excited to see how this story unfolds, especially with all these new revelations about Joy Boy and the Void Century. I'm just hoping that Luffy and his crew can keep up with everything that's happening. I mean, they're still running from Vegapunk. Dory and Froggy, right? According to Vegapunk, Joy Boy and his crew were so strong that an alliance army of 20 stations had to team up to fight them. And get this, Joy Boy could even transform into this crazy form called Nika that looks like Luffy's Gear 5. But what really sparked this battle? It was a clash of two different ideologies, and neither side can be defined as good or evil. And get this, this all went down 900 years ago. The weapons that existed back then were so advanced that even Vegapunk, the genius, can't recreate them with today's technology. The Void Century ended with Joy Boy's defeat, but his downfall left an irreparable damage to our world. Sailing itself has become difficult, and a large amount of our population will only have access to the culture of their own island. But did you know that our world used to have several continents long ago? The catastrophic climate change that occurred during the Void Century submerged the entire 200 meters rise in seawater. The islands we are living on right now are merely fragments of those continents that used to exist. The world of 1,000 years ago is now sunk into the depths of water and nowhere to be found. This is common knowledge for us, but it's important to remember that it doesn't apply to the world that existed 1,000 years ago. It's crazy to think about how much our world has changed since then. And with Vegapunk's insight, we can start to piece together what happened during the Void Century and how it has affected our world today. It's a fascinating topic that adds even more depth to this incredible story.